I turned Monopoly into an RPG, and this is how it's going so far. I have no idea what to expect, and it kind of scares me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Would you like to buy us for 100 gold pieces? Would you like to buy our humble little village if you would just join our cult? Help me! Get me out of here! Either roll doubles or pay $50 or- Where's my bride? Are you perhaps interested in like, marrying this guy? Oh, that's <laughs> all I ever wanted to do. <laughs> Can you take my son and show him the whole world? Don't let him die! Don't you accept to give me your power in exchange for killing the boy? Sir, you have tried to murder my child. Player 5 has entered the game, the great capitalist dragon. Welcome back to D&D, but actually, uh, Capitalism and Crusades. So you can see, like, I've slightly updated the board. I've put some tokens down as, like, reminders of what's on this board. But I do have some patch notes. Oh. Mm. Um, very slight patch notes. I have buffed the fighter. I originally made the fighter first, and I remember thinking, like, oh, action surge is broken! And then I proceeded to uh, make everybody else and break them. So, uh, fighter, uh, your extra attack. Everyone has action surge for $50. <laughs> <laughs> People's turns take, yeah, 15 minutes each. The fighter's extra attack does not include any kind of penalty for missing the extra attack. And I will say you also can keep making extra attacks as long as you keep, like, rolling the appropriate DC. Dope, I love that. Also, second wind is now a DC six instead of a d4 and that's all i'm changing on uh mechanics dope i think that's really op and you should give me action surge just to you know <laughs> yeah. a dimension door get out of here <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you have the most broken shit in the game <laughs> Did I tell you that yesterday was my birthday? I think you should. Oh. I think you should make it happen. Yeah. All right. Uh, no. Happy no. birthday. No, I don't know. I want my money. Also, that's not what I was saying. I wasn't looking for a song. I wanted the extra action surge and the money. Um, <laughs> tell you what. <laughs> That's why I mentioned that. Your, it might be your, you the player's birthday, but is it the character's birthday is the question. Yeah, <laughs> it was also my birthday on the 19th. And, uh, <gasps> you know, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> we also now have a banker because what nobody saw in the edit is that I spent like two minutes every turn uh, doing basic math. So everybody welcome our banker, Dex Save Dan. Hi, hey, Dex Save Dan. Hi, Dex Save Dan. Oh, I'll be your massive banker for this evening. Uh, looking forward to keeping track of all those gold pieces, uh, making sure everything is collected. Just worth mentioning, if I do say pound or quid at any time that that is actually English slang for gold pieces so uh, please don't correct me thank you very much with that uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting oh yeah Val uh, you are being breath attacked by the dragon and uh, oh, when you, awesome. you failed your roll and uh, therefore I'm going to roll a d6 great yeah attack <laughs> me bring it on I All got right. this uh, I rolled a five so you take uh, five times fifty. Uh, so you take two hundred. You lose two hundred fifty gold pieces from this dragon's breath attack. And with that, uh, we're going to start at the uh, top of the round with Terran. Hey. Again, with the house rules, when you land on a space that you do not have a uh, but actually slash monopoly on, you can invest in it. Um, okay. But you can invest freely on your turn on any of these light blue spaces, as per okay. like the normal um, mon monopoly. Let right. me fantasize about being a homeowner here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Top round, Taryn. Uh, yeah. What would you like to do? Uh, okay. Yep. Let's do the uh, roll. You get a seven. One, All two, right. three, four, five, six, seven takes you to. Oh, wow. This is. I think there was a plot line in the <laughs> <over here. laughs> May or yep. may not be. As you arrive to St. James Village, which you recall was previously purchased by the Yellow Cleric, you see an old, dilapidated chapel, though it looks like it's been spruced up a bit. Some windows are boarded up now, and the door has been placed back on its frame. As you settle in for the night, you see a well-dressed, pale-looking figure shambling towards you, and he says, Ugh, where's my bride? Ooh, uh, I actually think I know where she is. Uh, are you contagious? <laughs> Uh, and as you say this, you see, approaching from the shadows behind him, you see what was once perhaps the noble's daughter, now a pale corpse. Bernadette. Ooh. Oh, you see, man. she's holding this little bundle, cradling and bouncing up and down. And you hear, <laughs> oh, no, that's not good oh, that's, either. That's terrifying. That's 20 <laughs> types of curse right there. Um, okay, <laughs> look. 
Hey, man. Can't you just be happy for them? I, I... Oh, okay. So hold, hold on a second. Let me get this straight. He's still looking for his bride, but... I think it's the limited vocabulary. Is is that what it is? <laughs> so, <laughs> because he definitely did something to shavoink this Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie groom holds out a pale hand and says, Where's my... And he points to his open palm. Uh, where's your dowry? Yeah, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you need? What do you need? Uh, hi, landlord here. Um, <laughs> Typically, when you uh, yeah. yeah, when you land on somebody's uh, oh, space, yeah, yeah, you yeah, have yeah. to pay rent. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, For Saint James Village, you must pay the yellow cleric seventy gold pieces. Oh, hey, buddy, I don't make the rules, you know. <laughs> I know. I feel like I'm getting fleeced by this ro- by this zombie. And you see, though, what looks like to be the consequences of uh, the landlord's actions. <laughs> what a lovely Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> well, Baron, what do you do? Let's roll the dice. Okay. Roll the dice. Get also a seven. One, two, three, seven. Five, six, seven. <laughs> you gain 200 gold pieces, but you land once again at uh, Bad Directions and must pay. Or through the portal. Or through the portal. Ooh, do I want to get? No, I don't want to get through the portal. Oh, okay. You'd rather pay 200 bucks? Oh, wait. I just straight up pay two. No, I'll go through the portal. I'll take my chances on the <laughs> spider. The, the Zoro wait, hold on, one hold on. piece meme are going to be. How much am I going to have to pay Val? Can I charge people for using yeah, the she's, portal? She's got this toll road that goes to Atlantic Village. Because her <laughs> technically got I did not put it up. Her fog cloud oh God. is uh, until the start of her turn. Her fog cloud is back. Oh yeah. Mm. So you can either pay the banker money or you can pay me money. <laughs> I say the banker. Uh, you know what? Let, let's keep small businesses alive. I'm gonna go through the portal. Nice. One, two, three, four, and uh, you must beat a twelve. You do not beat a twelve. <laughs> no, okay. So you are stuck here and must pay the blue wizard a hundred and ten gold pieces. Thank That's you fine. so much for your contribution to the bandit cult. Use the money I gave you just now to send the little boy to school and tell him I'm sorry for trying to kill him. Aww. Yeah. Trying to have a redemption arc, are we, fighter? <laughs> yeah, some some kind of redemption arc. <laughs> are you trying to have a redemption arc, or are you motivated by fear because I just survived a dragon? Because you saw the, your actual accurate HP numbers in the edit. Of the video. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but as you land here on Atlantic Village, uh, you see a tall figure dressed in a hooded black robe, cradling the largest harvesting scythe you've ever seen in the crook of his bony arm. And he says... Baron Duran, I presume. Yes. He glances down at your gold currently on your person and he says, mm, It seems I am early. Though by the look of your pocketbook, you are about to have a near death experience, which inescapably means that I must undergo a near barren experience. Don't mind me. Carry on with whatever you were doing. But I have a message from the other side. Would you like to hear it? Of course I would. Uh, your grandmother says this video is sponsored by Sir Terry Pratchett's <laughs> Decimal <laughs> RPG coming to Kickstarter this October. This world's adventures in Ankhma Pork by Modifius Entertainment features original mechanics inspired by the whimsical wordplay of Sir Terry Pratchett, where you too will have to bend, twist, and strangle the English language to thrive in this RPG. I mean, come on. Do you really think Granny Weatherwax's character sheet would have spell slots or ability modifiers or a plus two bonus on perception checks? That's way too too much geometry. That's mortals for you. They will make out a few years in this world and they spend them all in making RPGs complicated for themselves. Fascinating. Your character's traits, like their background, quirks, and even the name you made up last minute, can be used to justify your chance of success in the city of Ankhma Pork, a melting pot of all shapes, sizes, and colors that blends itself nicely together into a big brown lump. So check out Terry Pratchett's Discworld Adventures in Ankhma Pork and all the great Atuan has to offer in the description below. Wow, that was really interesting. I guess there really are turtles all the way down. So, uh, Miss Val, it's time for your turn. Um, I'm gonna, I, I mean, there's not much I can do, right? I, I'm, I'm just gonna roll. And I'm trying to get away from this dragon. Get a six. However, you land on carousing tax, and you decide, after getting singed by the dragon, to spend the day drinking and must pay 100 gold pieces. I remember carousing being cheaper when I was younger. Yeah, because your mom paid for it. <laughs> I don't know about that. It is now Skylar's turn. I have a question. What happens if you roll doubles? Oh, yeah. That, oh, that, that's right, Val. You roll doubles, so you get to go again. Yeah. 
You rolled a 10. One, Yay. two. Would you like to go through portal? Wait, I have to do that. Pay math. my rent. <laughs> pay my rent. I don't want to pay your rent. I will use the portal. I will go to the treasure. Sometimes the treasure is paying taxes. That's true. It's treasure for the treasury. You find what looks like to be a skeleton key. Oh. The skeleton key allows you to get out of the dungeon for free. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Thank you. Excellent. The law doesn't apply to me anymore. Skylar's turn. Last time you were here, you had to uh, pay something called taxes, I yeah. believe. I think, and I cure wounds it back. I, I just like mm. broke even. Uh, yeah, basically. Um, you waiting to collect your taxes. Don't you worry. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to roll 2d6 and move. You got to get over here and break this unholy bond you started. No, I'm happy for them. You land on Redding Road, and at Redding Road, you see a group of bandits on uh, on the road. It's time for the shakedown. Yep. <laughs> and uh, they go, we're part of the bandit cult of Val. You have to pay us 25 gold pieces if you want across here. I don't think I've met Val in this game. Uh, maybe not directly, but you all know of each other, because since you all started 25 at... 25 with a, with a... Wait, does Redding Road... Can you build houses on railroads? No, right, uh, the okay. roads, you only... You gain more uh, property value on it by owning more roads. I like supporting infrastructure, so... <laughs> Here's $25. You pay the bandits 25 gold pieces and uh, move on your way. That ends your turn. It is now uh, the dragon goes. Uh, he's going to roll. He rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He lands on Park Palace. You just can't get enough of it. He must pay uh, both of you uh, the cost of one house of Park Palace halved. So uh, here comes some math here. 175 gold pieces divided by two, uh, each to Baron and Val. I was going to say, so that is 87. 88 to Val, 87 to Baron. Val, you can have the extra odd gold as long as it goes to the little boy. Well, you could round it up to 100. (laughs) Hey, did I mention my birthday was yesterday? We could round it up. (laughs) You are going to be permanently apologizing. I thought this was simple math. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, that ends his turn, and uh, it is now top of the round. Taryn. All right, I'm trying to... uh, uh, mentally bleach the image of the zombie baby thing out of my brain and uh, we're gonna... Your dogmatic commitment to one idea of what a family can look like? Honestly, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> There's a certain level of open-mindedness that's just too much for me in this world. Mm, Twitter's gonna love that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's fine. They hate me already. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna hide. Uh, okay, you hide. Therefore, you will avoid uh, whatever space you land on should you choose. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You land on your own place at Illinois Village. And nobody's uh, landing on the new spaces. You can build another house there, right? Because you landed on it? Yeah, you can choose to invest if you'd like to. Uh, we shall. Okay. All uh, the villagers come and hug you as you uh, start pouring more money at them. Uh, Thank you so much for saving us from that terrible owlbear. Absolutely. As I'm just making it rain with coins and flinging them at people. <laughs> Go build a house. Another house appears on the already booming market. All right. Editor's note, if I land on that space later, do a callback to when I reminded Taryn that he could build a house on it. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That ends your turn. Uh, It is now Baron's turn. What do you do? I would like to go back through the portal to collect yet another 200 gold. Um, Unfortunately, that is not considered moving forward. Uh, Okay, fine. Let's roll the dice then. We, We need it at Boardwalk or... Or Park Palace. Yeah, that's what we need. Ooh, you roll doubles. Ooh. Cellar. Ooh, and you land on cellar. You also land on one of my favorite spaces that nobody got to see. I've been curious about this. As you uh, arrive to this little tiny uh, hut that's just kind of in the middle of the road, uh, you walk in and you see this uh, eccentric uh, uh, old man kind of like mixing all sorts of uh, colored potions uh, in various, uh, he's got various cauldrons bubbling and alembics uh, running. Whatever those fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Distill fluid. He turns around and he goes, he goes, oh, hello there. Uh, I am a, uh, I'm the local potion seller. Would you like to uh, potentially buy some potions and potentially invest in my business? I would absolutely love to. All right. For 150 gold pieces, you can buy the, this potion seller space. And uh, you also get a, every time you land on the space, you would also get a free potion. Excellent. Let me see what my options are. Oh, these are the utilities. Correct. Do you have any potions that are really good at making wizards just die or disappear? (laughs) I can't believe you would say that. I do have an oil of sharpness, which gives you uh, twice the amount of damage on your next attack. That might be useful. I've currently entered a contract with a wizard that I need to get out of. (laughs) You will never get out, Baron. Never. (laughs) I now give you a potion. Boop. Excellent. 
if the wizard comes by, don't don't mention it. Oh, absolutely. Him. No, no, no. And he like he, he taps his uh, his finger on his nose. Mum's the word. Mum's the word. Come again. And then uh, he uh, shoes you out the door. All right. Uh, that ends your turn. Oh, you roll doubles. You get to go again. Oh, yeah. How did how did we make it through that entire exchange and not a single potion seller reference was dropped? I was holding my breath. I know. I'm like, <laughs> potion oh, check. potion's such a strong. <laughs> my weakest potion <laughs> would destroy you. You're a rascal. Justice for potion seller. Four. You get a four. One. Two, three, four. You unfortunately land on North Carolina. Excellent. And must pay this, uh, Miss Val Rent. Uh, thank you so much. That's rough. I'm so happy, Baron, that we have reached an understanding in our partnership. Oh, absolutely. I'm I'm totally stoked about our partner, especially that we got yeah. the dragon to pay us both rent. Me too. And I'm definitely not looking into ways to eliminate you. Yeah, me neither. And I'm happy <laughs> that you are not either. Just a little bit of mutual respect. Yeah, just a little. Two two landlords in there. Glad we had this talk. Just just while I'm here, while we're next to each other, I just wanted to tell you, I I'm starting to feel like maybe um, uh, that rogue owns a bit too many properties. <laughs> should, should we take the rogue out? Just just saying, you know, I, I don't know if you've noticed. That. Should we collaborate to take the rogue out? I, I think I think we should think about it. It's just something to keep in mind. I'm not saying let's kill it. Whoa, there's a dragon over there. By the way. A lot of you viewers have been asking about a physical version of this, so if you want your own Capitalism and Crusades expansion, join my email list below, and if there's enough interest, we'll turn it into a real thing, with stickers, dice, cards, and even some unique tokens. Link below. It is now Miss Val's turn. What do you do? I'm going to roll. A three. One, two, three. You get a random encounter. Unfortunately... I don't like that you started your sentence with unfortunately. Can you please change the sentence? Yeah. F- fortunately, you left your backpack and you must go back three spaces, suffering any effects from that space. Oh, that's which, uh, a treasure. Which, one, two, three, is a, is a treasure. <laughs> so you get another treasure piece. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you reframing this in a positive way. Uh, you left your backpack, and as you headed back, you uh, you thumb through, and you see somebody left a little note in your backpack that you left here on the treasure space you previously were at, and it says, Happy birthday, Miss Val. Aww. And uh, you get, it is a scroll of fireball. Oh, wow. We will teach you what scroll of fireball does as it comes along. I've got one guess. Does it burn down a house? Can it burn a dragon? <laughs> Can it burn a rogue? It's not a red dragon, it's a capitalist dragon. And I checked the monster manual, and they don't have any damage immediately. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Uh, capitalists are immune to fire. That's right. capitalist propaganda. You can actually burn them all down. <laughs> it works fine. I've seen Fight Club. <laughs> you get them with a chemical burn. Skyler's turn. All right. Who am I going to pay rent to next? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm visiting an empty jail. I mean, it might be not be empty. Maybe I'll find another lady. Another chance. Unfortunately, there's only one uh, noble daughter, and also both the noble daughter is currently predisposed to another man, and uh, the noble is uh, predisposed to death from the dragon. Dragon's turn. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He'd be Reading Road, or four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, he... Go to dungeon. Ooh, go to dungeon. Go to dungeon. <laughs> Face me. <laughs> Face me, dragon. Actually, no. He's going to uh, He's gonna pass go. He's going to gain $200. He's going to gain his abilities back. You see what happens when you qu- when you quarrel amongst yourselves? <laughs> As he lands on uh, Reading Road, he sees uh, the thieves then come up to him and go, this is the cult leader, Miss Val's territory. You have to pay us if you want to cross. And uh, he uses his ability, Legendary Resistance, which allows him to ignore one instance of potential monetary damage. Okay. Oh, man, how do we bust this dragon's kneecaps? I don't know, Johnny. <laughs> uh, the ones in front knees are elbows. I've seen too many knees. Oh, man, I've never seen something with four knees before. He's like a beholder, but with knees instead of eyeballs. <laughs> Don't be tough, boy. This this is a dragon. Don't don't draw his ire against our cult. They start smacking at him, but they just they just pass us. He just passes through Reading Road without any trouble whatsoever. I want to say Taryn. Taryn has the best uh, skeleton voice uh, ever. <laughs> I purposely want to record him uh, doing various skeleton lines. It's one voice, and it's my uh, it's it's just the Skeletor voice. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> After playing in his game of Vagabond, which is currently on GameFound right now, hey. the uh, I had a great time playing that. So <laughs> top of the round, Taryn. All right. Well, with my ears burning, with that familiar sense of someone's about to assassinate me, <laughs> uh, I'm going to get backstab ready. <laughs> okay. Just in case I get some doubles coming up, because I think I got to draw some blood. Uh, all right. We're going to go for it. Roll move. Let's, let's do it to it. 
All right, you get another seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You land on Pacific Village, and uh, Dragon has two houses on here. This is going to probably hurt. You must spend three hundred and ninety dollars or three hundred and ninety gold pieces. Do you see the headless mayor is still like laying there in the front lawn of uh, of the house? <laughs> but uh, did nothing to property value, by the way. <laughs> the actual house looks absolutely gorgeous, but uh, right in front of it is just a dead mayor to remind you who is the who is the landlord here. Great. I didn't really care about killing the dragon before, but now I, I think my backstory is getting flushed out. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll pay that. And then I'm going to look ahead and see Baron and Val and just be like, hey, guys, this guy sucks. You want to team up? Uh, yeah, sure. We definitely don't have an alliance yet. So, uh, yeah. Uh, can, can, can I have a... Can I have a secret conversation with Taryn? Uh, like you need to dip out and actually have a secret conversation, or like, should I need no, to kick? Do I need no, to kick no, no, out? Like, <laughs> no, like because we're in adjacent spaces. Can I like go to the, my street corner where it intersects with the street corner that he's on, and have a conversation? Yeah, hundred percent. Be like, hey, um, Taryn, I've got this potion of sharpness. Val was talking about trying to get me to kill you, but I'm gonna give this potion to you so that you can backstab her to the nth degree with what, it. What, what did, wait, wait, what did I do to her? I don't think we even met except for that one time like two years ago at uh, Long Rest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I thought it was despicable, so I picked up this potion and I'm giving it to you. I was going to say, we now have like, because how time, I don't know, I haven't really determined how fast time moves when you lap the board, but because the um, the zombie groom and the, uh, the noble daughter have a child now, I would say there's some pretty significant time happens when you're lapping the board. Well, what's zombie gestation period? Hold yeah. on, let me pull out my all my favorite source books. Yeah, let me Google, let me Google image that real quick. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, is, is that a brand new Google search? It's gonna turn well, into if like. If you'll just visit my life. my D and D Beyond homebrew page, I've got. <laughs> I say this is covered in the, the uh, book of blue magic. Yeah, it lives again. Yeah, I'm gonna give the oil to Taryn so that he can backstab Val with it. Okay, yeah, I like that. I like that. The new home, new house rule is uh, if you're on Jason Spaces, you can trade items. Can, can we trade like money and property freely, as you said before? <laughs> I mean. Aaron, actually, the church kind of got together and they heard you were having a hard time and everybody pitched in a couple bucks. Okay. I just don't want you to die before we can all fight the dragon together. Aww. That's so sweet. What, what is all this charity as I'm plotting? I, say, I think he's, he's technically, I, I, I he's technically the best well off out of every all of you as far as long term because he's got... He's actually, so? Well, as far as like, you've got, you've got almost the whole just, lane. Just be aware, if you do land on any taxes and you can't afford it, I am a pretty ruthless banker, so uh, just be warned. I will Venmo you $30. <laughs> <laughs> give me 500 gold. That's real. That will happen right now. <laughs> do you have PayPal, Banker? Do I have PayPal? I do have PayPal. But I also accept thumbs and kneecaps if you can't pay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ooh. great. That's good to know. Yeah, so I'll wave goodbye to Taryn and roll the dice. So long, friend. An 11. I believe Ooh. that's going to make you get past go easily. 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> Are you, do you go through Portal or not? Uh, am I going to land on bad directions yet again? <laughs> you will land on bad All right. directions. All right. Yeah, let's go through the Portal. I need to rack up some more gold. You just keep getting lost and going through the portal because it's the only familiar landmark. It takes you back to Potion Cellar. And uh, as you land on Potion Cellar, uh, you cannot invest in the Potion Cellar any further. But you can, uh, you do get a free potion when you land on a potion cellar space that you own. Good day, sir. Do you have another potion for me? I somehow misplaced the one you gave me. Oh, such a um, darn shame. Yeah, I've got one right here. Um, however, it's, it's just fresh out of the batch. I don't know what it does just yet. And uh, he rolls, I roll to find out what potions you get. Um, this is a potion of invisibility. This functions similar to the rogue's hide and allows you to ignore a space you land on. Love it. Excellent. Thank you very much for making this. Can you choose to drink it after you've landed on a space? Uh, I'll say, yeah. Make it OP. Sure. I mean, Taren, Taren's hide is kind of similar. You, Taren, you can actually use hide um, after you roll to move. I just buffed Taren's ability. You're welcome. Patch notes. <laughs> Val's turn. What do you do? I'm gonna roll. We get an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be Mediterranean Village, or would you like to go to the portal? Nah, I'm gonna go to the village, to the Mediterranean Village. As you approach uh, Mediterranean Village, um, you see that there is uh, these tiny little huts um, rather than these like really nice like multi-story houses that you've seen in other villages as uh, you've been exploring the world. And uh, you see these tiny little figures start running out to you, and you recognize them as goblins and they go help us save us save us from this terrible monster and uh there what, you urban sprawl in your single family unit house? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Those NIMBY regulations are terrible. <laughs> they point to uh, they point to the bushes off into the distance, and you turn around. There you see emerging from the bushes is this average looking uh, man named Jerry, and he walks up to you and says, "Boy, how you doing, mate?" Hello. <laughs> And the goblins then point to them and go, kill him, kill him, save us. What do you do? Uh, hey, uh, Mr. Set, what's up with, I mean, the, you seem to be kind of scaring the goblins. Is there a particular reason why? Yeah, they're goblins, of course. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's kind of dickish uh, of you. Shh, um, Jerry. I mean, it doesn't matter because they're goblins, right? Oh. Um. <laughs> Um, do you, do you want to just turn around for a second? Oh, yeah, sure. He's a super polite, Jerry's a super polite guy and he just turns around. And yeah, I'm going to magic missile him. <laughs> <laughs> the goblins all like, yeah, the goblins are all looking at you and then you, you pull out a magic missile. Um, however. Look at the flowers, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> so good, Jerry, you're going home. Actually, yeah, get on your knees. Get on your knees real quick, Jerry. Jerry, can you just look down and get on your knees and put this bag over your head? As uh, as you pull out your magic missile, prepare your magic missile, rather, you must beat a 12 on a d20 roll. For you see, your uh, the consequences of your actions are finally transpiring, and uh, your uh, your cultish uh, tattoo begins to glow a purplish hue. Oh, no. You do not beat a 12. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh no. What have you done, I'm Val? I'm scared. <laughs> As you cast magic missile upon uh, the turnaround, Jerry, uh, the goblins in cheer as uh, you cast magic missile and it hits them. And it, uh, well, we got to roll a D4 minus one because you could roll a zero, actually. I'm very I scared. Believe. I'm very, very there scared. There we go. Ah, you rolled one. Yep. You hit a missile. He only had one heart of HP. You hit uh, you hit Jerry for one HP and he dies. However, uh, the, the magic missile then fizzles and turns into this purplish hue and this portal, uh, purple portal uh, rift opens up and these terrible uh, purplish tentacles just start lashing out everywhere, uh, smacking several of the goblins, killing them on sight, oh, and uh, also smacking you and uh, hurting you for 100 gold pieces. Oh, no. Who knew the dangers of pledging your life to an otherworldly entity? I didn't think there would be consequences. You gotta read the end user license agreement. That's why they oh, fuck you. No. <laughs> it's the, the dangers of multi-classing. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, a purple portal appears here. Anybody that lands in the purple portal will be smacked for 100 gold pieces. That goes straight to the bank. Wonderful. That goes to me, does it? Lovely. Um, oh, I love it. The banker's an actual uh, otherworldly patron. I am here to take all of your gold. <gasps> Is the banker what I've got tattooed? I mean, I cannot confirm nor deny. I mean, you earlier last game you did try to make the beholder your uh, your deity, which you know was a pretty darn good, uh, clever move. But um, you did save the village. So several goblins also lay dead at your feet as these tentacles flail about, and you all start you know fleeing the uh, the portal entry. The the goblins go, "Thank you so much," even though Boblin and and and. Joblin are dead, but uh, Not Joblin, the jobber goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to buy us for sixty gold pieces? I'm so sorry for your loss. Here's sixty gold pieces. All right, so Miss Val, you have lost a total of sixty gold pieces, but you do gain. You do own the property now, and uh, another house is immediately built there uh, due to the booming economy. Luckily. They traded their DC 10 problem for a DC 12 one. You brought that into their lives. <laughs> you know it's bad on the housing market when demonic tentacles can enter into the property and you can still gentrify it. <laughs> <laughs> it actually improves. I mean, like that. I mean, sometimes you know it's you can you can make like a theme Airbnb and I'm sure that would work. Like like if I just started like an Airbnb business and just made it like a oh. like some some Eldritch theme. Very uh, yeah. Yeah. Entity themed, cult themed. We need, we need to capitalize I'm on that sure market. There's an audience for it. That's how you got into this situation. It's because you would rent that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Airbnb, but slightly haunted. Yeah. yeah. Um, I still see no issue with uh, my past choices, so I'm gonna keep going. The tentacles represent the cleaning fee. <laughs> Should I place? A fog cloud here? I mean, that's totally up to you, Miss Val. No, I'm not gonna be rude, because I don't want people to start plotting to kill me. That would be ridiculous, so I'm not going to put a fog Yeah, luckily cloud. nobody's doing that right now. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, that would be ridiculous. Yeah, luckily no one is doing it. <laughs> that ends your turn. Skylar. I'm gonna roll 2d6. I love this mechanic. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You land on a treasure see, space. I get screwed in the treasure spot again. You pass St. James and uh, yeah, I check, you see, check in you on, see. on the on the young love birds. See how they're doing. See if they need anything around the place. You know. At this point now, I would say with time passing, um, you see that they're uh, they're trying to limp 
They're trying to teach their uh, their new child how to limp. How's he doing? Uh, he's doing a little all right. Corporeally, what's what's he look like? Corporeally, I mean, he looks like hell. He looks like he crawled out of hell and back, but otherwise, um, he looks like a normal little like two year old. Try you know starting to like kind of like well actually t- no two year olds can walk. Uh, well, I say with zombie two year olds would still have to learn how to limp. It's but, like cats. Like um, yeah, he's he's, he's, he's a little be- he's a little behind on the he's a little behind on the growth chart, on like the development chart. But he's also a zombie, so that that we have to court. I'm we not have worried to- about him. I mean, he's going to be a late bloomer. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong did, with that. Could, could they did they name? did they name what's his name? Uh, his name is uh, Mom. What would you what, what what is the baby's name, Mom? Did, did they maybe name him after the person who brought them together? And- well, I don't know. Let's ask Bernadette. Bernadette, what is uh, what did we name the baby? Where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the child where? Uh, That's perfect. No notes. Yeah. So you, you wave to the zombie groom, Bernadette, and uh, or you wave to Horace, Bernadette, and where? Where's looking great. You, you know, you guys just let me know if you need anything. All right. And uh, as you land on treasure space, you find a, well, it looks like to be a, uh, a healing potion. You immediately gain 100 gold pieces. I feel like 925 bucks. <laughs> now dragons go. Uh, eight, and he rolled doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's got a new place. That's actually where the dragon slayers live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, the, there's uh, some events transpire here that uh, we do not know about. And uh, however, he purchases the property for 140 gold pieces. So the dragon does not have uh, the, the dragon doesn't have to worry about the uh, moral quandaries of whatever is happening on these spaces, unfortunately. So he just automatically gets to buy it um, because he was late to the party and he's also a stinking capitalist dragon. Guys, wait till the dragon's done buying a house and stab him in the back. He, uh, sorry, he rolled doubles. He has to go again. He rolls to move. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> he lands on short rest. He wins the race and Baron must now pay everybody uh, 50 gold pieces. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> How are we looking, Baron? I didn't even look glanced at that. I've been, I've been trusting my banker to uh, do yeah, the numbers. No, right, so. I, can, I can afford to lose 200, <laughs> only because I I spammed the portal. So, um, everybody, <laughs> you all get 50 gold pieces. Yay. The dragon, since he landed on the short rest space, one he gets to choose which one of his abilities he gets to refresh, and he refreshes the only one. Legendary resistance. Come on, dragon. Yeah. I feel someone's got to be rooting for the dragon. It might as well be the banker. Come on. Top of the round with Terran. Oh, all right. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and roll it. And another eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we're back to Boardwalk. Home record. You visit uh, your old pal, uh, the Banshee Bride at uh, Boardwalk, and she turns to you as she like, floats back towards you, and she says, Where's my husband? So... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he's, uh, so you know how the whole till death do us part thing about getting married? <laughs> Need I remind you, they never got married. They're using these terms very loosely. It was on the on the day that they were to be married. She stares at you with piercing blue eyes. Uh, so, you know the whole, like, till death do us part? Part clause of the whole marriage thing. I think that he's decided to exercise that clause. What are you saying? Where's my husband? If you don't tell me, I'm going to get angry and scream. Okay, okay, he's he's over at um this place called um Saint James. But, but, just so you know, he's, he seems to have kind of got something else going on now. <laughs> Take me to him. Take me to that cheeky little fucker. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she's now, you now have a, uh, you now have a banshee following you around. Oh, uh, yeah. Demanding you to take her to, uh, Sh- St. James. If you don't take me, I'm going to scream. <laughs> Okay, okay, follow me, follow me. We got it, and uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll get there. Okay, sidebar, Taryn. Take her, take her through the portal. <laughs> let's let's spawn camp the dragon <laughs> with the I banshee. Was, I was absolutely thinking banshee okay. dragon. Figure out what to do about that. Yeah. You could throw her in the uh, tentacles. I feel like you're you're thinking about liquid assets. You're thinking about cash. We need to think about if banshees are following us. Property, potions, you know. 
literally a liquid acid. I'm the one who has the banshee following me, though. It's, yeah, it's, it's your decision what to do with the banshee. <laughs> but I'm but I'm saying <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> marriage to ruin. I just want to warn you. I had a child following me earlier, and then it you know it, it was a lot of responsibility. <laughs> he didn't kill anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. You you think you had it rough with the banshee? I had a child. Okay. And I fulfilled <laughs> like forty percent of the obligation that I was supposed to. Yeah. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying be ready to protect your banshee because you know like, things can happen. I have a lot of experience with this, so you know I feel like my opinion is valuable here. Just uh, throw the banshee in the tentacles. Part. No, hey, me personally, I love the little Final Fantasy crew. I'm kind of assembling over here. <laughs> but that's you know we're we're gonna see. We're gonna see. It is now Baron's turn. Let's roll him. Rolling it. Seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You arrive at Short Line Passage. And as you get to uh, Short Line Passage, you see a group of bandits are all different colors uh, compared to uh, the ones on Reading Road are all standing around. kind of like color bandits. Yeah, the technicolor Power bandits business. are all standing around waiting for people to pass pass by. And as you pass by, they turn around and look at you and they look up and down like, hey, what's that? And they go, wait a second. No, this ain't the blue wizard. That's fine. Go ahead and give him an offer, Jerry. And then yeah, he turns around and goes, right, "Would you want to buy and become our bandit leader for Short Line? We're at a turf war with the with uh with the blue bandits over at <laughs> Reading Road." I mean, that sounds fantastic. Uh, my question is, what exactly caused this beef? And are you willing to follow me around in order to exact justice on <laughs> on the wizard? Shit, I'm starting to have a lot of enemies. And is Jerry just like a really popular name? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, this week I just grabbed it. Yeah, this week at least. At the top of my brain at least. Um, yeah, the bands are looking at each other like, well, we ain't associated with, we haven't picked out any leader just yet, but uh, we're on a turf war with the other bandits because they're a different color than us. As far as our clothes, our clothes are a different color. That was real scary for just a second. <laughs> These Jerry's, man, they're like talking about goblins or talking about those different colors. Ooh. Yeah, well, you, if you're going to join us for 200 gold pieces, what? Yeah, I'll be your bandit leader for 200 gold pieces. Let's do it. I will be your bandit leader. Are you, do you have that? Are you okay? Yeah. You're about to pass go. You're doing great, man. I'm, I'm great. I'm one roll away from pass and go. Uh, you purchase a uh, short line passage for 200 gold pieces. Val's turn. I'm going to run the f*** away from the tentacles. A six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get a random encounter and avoid Terran spaces. Uh, you find... You have found what looks to be a giant major healing potion. And as you drink it, you immediately gain 200 gold pieces. It is now uh, Skylar's turn. All right, I'm sitting on sitting pretty on the treasure spot. I'm going to roll 2d6 to move. Five, six, seven, eight. You you land on a B&O Highway. As you land on B&O Highway, you see, uh, you see, hey, Jerry, get over here. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry waddles up to you guys. Jason, these, these Technicolor bandits all look at you and they go, yeah, they, they ain't the blue, they ain't the blue wizard or the red fighter. Hey, you want to be the bandit captain of, our, of B&O Highway for 200 gold pieces? Go and send no more. I give them 200 gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Turn aside from your life of violence, unless it's really convenient for us. <laughs> you got it, boss. The world's a scary place. All right. Uh, Skyler has now the bandit captain of B&O Highway for 200 gold pieces. I'm I'm a, a, the chaplain for a group of mercenaries. <laughs> will not adopt the title of bandit captain. All right. That's fair. Chaplain for mercenaries. Chaplain for mercenaries. All right. It is now the dragon's turn. The dragon will roll 2d6. Eight. He lands on potion cellar. Oh, don't torch the potion cellar. No, he cannot torch pl properties that are already owned. Um, he must pay four times the amount shown on the dice. So eight times four is 32. He must pay 32 gold pieces. And he gets a random potion that I will now roll. Potion of dragon poison. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the round, Taryn. Okay. Where's my husband? Oh, yeah. um, oh, all right, we're, 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 we're going to get to him. Um, look, I know you don't got to sleep, but I definitely need to. I'm going to uh, roll the move. You get a three to you go through portal. Yeah, we yeah we, we portal this. Uh, oh. To the banshee, I'm like, we're, we're, we're getting to your husband, but I'm going to need your help. <sighs> Fine. I pass through the portal with you. You gain 200 gold pieces. You gain all your abilities back. I am averting gazes from BNO Highway. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, as you arrive at Vent Nor Village, uh, you see the uh, the caretaker of the building approaches you and she goes, um, Hello! You must pay! Uh, the giant spider uh, approaches you and says, You must pay 110 gold pieces to stay here! She's charming. This is me kind of thinking my inner thoughts to see if my subconscious will give me an answer here. 
What what happens if I backstab the spider? Um, that would be interesting, but I'm afraid that would remove the spider from play, but uh, it wouldn't threaten um, losing the property, I would say. Just being mean to uh, the founder of the Second Church of St. James. Fine, we, 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 we pay this. The uh, spider says, uh, Thank you so much for contributing to the Order of the Cloth Web! God bless you! Absolutely, uh, 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 walk with Christ and all that, yeah. Vaya con Dios. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, Merry Christmas. (laughs) You hit her with the happy holidays, so you gotta pay another hundred. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I guess we'll roll to move. I didn't use my, uh, action surge. I guess I'll remember to do that next time. You can, yeah, you certainly can. Ooh, I will use my action surge. Two, all right. You get doubles, you went on two. Uh, you do need to pay Val half of this. That's fine. Uh, would you like to invest? Uh, I don't have money to invest. I want to hold on to my cash. So let's, well, yeah, let's action surge and do it again. Do you, do you want to hit the second wind and see if you can get enough capital? To- what, if, yeah, let's- what if, like, I have a question. What if, like, you don't pay and invest instead? I mean, I can't, you know, who am I to say that you can't accept money that you are being handed to? So you want me to invest in the property? Yeah, I mean, Baron, we, you know, I mean, we've, we've We've gone through so much together already as business partners, and I feel like this has been a really fruitful uh, partnership. And I think uh, it's time for us to just invest, and I'm just not going to charge you if you want to invest instead. Okay, I can do that. Let's let's second wind, and then use that money to invest. I'm rolling for second wind, so him going to he's going to roll a d6 now. Four times 20 is 60, so he gains a 60 gold pieces, so Four 80. Four times 20 is 80. I lied, so 80 gold pieces. <laughs> I can't math myself. Thanks for making that nice and easy for me. Yeah, we're going to invest. By the way, I think Taryn, I think when you had invested, did I even charge, did I charge yes. you for investing? Yes. <laughs> I sense of sarcasm. So uh, yeah, let's let's burn second wind, and uh, I need second wind burnt and action surge burnt. Just throw out an extra attack at the ground. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you've already rolled doubles, so you are going to go two more times. Your turn is going to last forever. I love it. You roll doubles. Let's say this is your doubles roll. Okay. That is a uh, what five? One, two, three. Gotcha. Portal. Uh, no, let's skip the portal. There's too much stuff going on up there. Ooh, okay. You find a scroll of swapping. A scroll of swapping. Does that allow me to swap with any other player? It does. That's excellent. Nice. Um, and that now is your action surge roll, which is refreshed. If I need to, I'll go and remove. That's a five. One, two, three, four, five. You land on Val's spot with a random encounter. Yeah, let me drink the potion of invisibility first. You pop invisibility. You are uh, invisible. I'm scared. I'm so scared. You must be from Vienna because you're hiding. <laughs> so bad. I like classical humor. <laughs> How many items can I use on my turn, by the way? Can I use I mean, all whatever's of them? In, I would say whatever's in your hand. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's check the random encounter. Oh, okay. This might... Uh, so, luckily, so you're, you've used invisibility, which is, as far as mechanically for this game, allows you to avoid... Uh, if, you know, for all intents and purposes, for the RPG elements, you are considered invisible. But um, for the for the Monopoly side of the elements, you can choose to ignore a event that you land on. Okay. The event you get from the card, from the random encounter, is the, uh, the wandering priest from St. Charles Villages approaches you and is like, hmm, where's that red fighter? I was going to take him back to St. Charles... It was going to be a, a, a warp to St. Charles space. Do you choose to avoid it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to avoid that. Oh, hi, sir. I'm right behind. Hello. Oh, hi there. I was just looking for the red fighter. I heard he was around these parts. You seen him anywhere? I haven't seen any, but I mean, if you're going to St. Charles, I don't mind coming with you. Uh, well, sorry, but I don't, you didn't land on the random encounter space and draw my card. So I'm only here for the red fighter who I don't uh-huh. see whatsoever. And then I like imagine like Baron's just breathing down your neck like. That's so sad because, you know, Priest, I just, I mean, I just kind of feel like I have this weird sense that maybe there's people after me who are trying to kill me, that people, like, mean me harm. And Oh my goodness, a damsel in distress? Yeah, I'm really in distress. And I'm so helpless. Oh, that's terrible. And he walks away back to St. Charles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I fireball that piece of shit? <laughs> Dude, are you, do not waste your fire. I mean, I'm not going to leave your fireball. Listen, I'm the only one worried about the dragon, and that's fine. 
I have okay. no properties. It's what my character would yeah. do. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, so so for my for my next action, I would like to uh, attack the wizard and then also use extra attack as well. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Here we go. So, um, it's going to be a roll v roll. Um, I will give you Baron advantage since you're like coming out of invisibility <laughs> for this first attack. So this first I was roll. Like, where the hell is Baron? <laughs> Sneak attack. <laughs> so uh, let me re impair to you real quick. The, <gasps> the betrayal. I roll. I roll two d twenties here. This is Baron's roll. Oh, Nat 20. Oh, and Val, uh, Val, this is your roll. Uh, nope. So, Dan, just uh, as a quick reminder, um, all hits, player v. player, is 100 gold pieces deducted. So, Val has been hit one time. Does crit damage? Does it double? Uh, no, I won't do crit damage. Okay. I can take it. Uh, that's, that's okay, Miss Val. People might take that the wrong way. <laughs> Val, I was like, you just gave a whole lot of guys a sound clip online that you did not want to give them. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Hey, editing Skylar and editing deficient. Can you? Got you. We got you. (laughs) Don't even worry about it. Yeah, no, I'll I'll just say it over you. I'll be like, I can take it. (laughs) I'll just ruin it. Um, And then this is extra attack. So this is roll normal, uh, roll v roll. First roll is going to be Baron. This is Baron's, a 14. And this is Val's. Uh, 19. You do not okay. get hit. Um, the defenders don't hit you back. Okay. Since he so, attacks, does he come out of hiding? You turn around and you see the red fighter uh, with uh, blood in his eyes, uh, red in his eyes, and he uh, attacks you again and you manage to will dodge you, out of the way. You will release me from the contract. <laughs> Give me that 51%. I mean, you could have just asked nicely. And, uh, I, and, I, and I urge you to really consider what you're going to say next because I do have a scroll of fireball in my hand. But I also have the best of intentions. The best of intentions. Okay, so I'm going to use the scroll of, what is it? Replacement? A uh, swap, yeah. Swap, yeah. I'm going to uh, swap the with the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking well played. All right. For all intents and purposes, this does not count as swapping, uh, passing go. But uh, yeah, you swap with the dragon. It was and then I will use action surge to go again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's go. See, fighter is fighter is broken, guys. I told you, fighter's action surge is broken. You just need a chance to show off. Everyone's like in the everyone's in the comments like, oh, rogue's broken, wizard's broken. Nobody, you know, nobody. Everyone's sleeping on the fighter, man. Nobody said shit about the cleric. I want you to know that. (laughs) They say that I'm a broken man. You got to use more divine intervention, my friend. I'm ready. I'm ready for the dragon to pop his legendary resistance and catch me outside. (laughs) Hello, dragon. We meet again. All right, dragon uh, lands on your space, though. There's like no nothing actually happens as far as uh, mechanically. Well, but can I fireball him though? Uh, on your turn, you can. It is still it oh, is okay. still the fighter's <laughs> turn. <laughs> you, Baron uses action surge. Baron uh, swapping does not count to uh, as far as landing on the space, so you do not get any kind of benefit from landing on oh, the potion. Oh man, seller. I don't get another potion. All right, no, just swap. Sorry, it. you got to use the door. No teleports. <laughs> oh man. All right. All right. So you action surge and we roll again. A ten. Ten. Eight, nine, ten. Carousing tax. You party and lose a hundred gold pieces. And then the banker is always there to collect. (sighs) All right. At the end of the day, the banker always wins. How does he just keep showing up wherever we are? (laughs) Yeah, it's it's the last day of the month. Shit. Uh, Oh, man. (laughs) Miss Val. I I was going to say I'm going to fire both the dragon, but I think I changed my mind. Coward. All right, what do you do? I just want to talk to the dragon first, you know? I, I mean, I, it's it's been pretty lonely being a bandit cult leader and having um, my closest ally and friend, Baron, just suddenly turn on me. Um, and I'm just feeling very sad and I'm just thinking that- <laughs> It was my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and being a big capitalist dragon is probably pretty lonely as well. Mm. You know what? Because it's also your birthday and the sad story you tell, I will let you roll this with advantage. You must beat a 12. I feel like you've gotten me way too many advantages for my birthday. Okay, mm. that's it. No, I mean, you asked for it, but uh, okay. the dragon, like, push listens to your tales, kind of like, oh, yeah, you could push your roll for 50 gold pieces. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely spend the 50 gold pieces. Val deducts 50 gold pieces for pushing her roll, and, uh, and also Skylar remembers the mechanics better than I do. Point, but uh, yes, uh, so I'm gonna re roll this a 
13 with advantage. The dragon like nods as you're like talking his ear off about, you know, it's your birthday and how sad and things. Yeah, you don't care what I'm saying, right? Uh, he then like looks around and he hands you uh, his potion. Oh, that's nice. And he like rolls up his car window. <laughs> I wasn't like fishing for that. I really just like wanted like a friend to talk to. However, you're carrying two items and you can only, you only have two hands. So uh, which, what are you dropping for the potion? No, I'm just, I'm, I'm going to give him back his potion. Like that's very, very nice of you. Well, at least know what he's got in his kit. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> are you giving it back or not? Can I know what it is first? No, you must decide this before I tell you. Oh, okay. Just make an arcana check on the potion. <laughs> Going to look at the dragon. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> There's pizza in the break room. That's so nice of you. I really no pay like raises you. though. No, that's okay. That's fine. I really appreciate it. I will take that potion. Okay. Um, and you drop which one do you drop? This fireball or the key, skeleton key? I'm dropping the skeleton key. Okay. Um, you identify as you take the potion and the, the dragon is planning to move uh, move off of this space here on his next turn. Um, you discover that the dragon was holding on a potion of charm person. Oh, that's nice. You want to roll to move? Yeah, I shall roll to move. You uh, <laughs> uh, you arrive at uh, St. Charles. <laughs> you see the priest there that uh, abandoned you earlier. Hmm. And uh, he turns out and goes, oh, hello there. Welcome to St. Charles. I can cure you of any ailments for the low, low price of a uh, required 50 gold pieces. But uh, is there anything I can help you with? Can you cure me from uh, loneliness? Because um, my best friend just betrayed me. I mean, <laughs> I don't, can't really die. It's, I'm more of like curses or anything crazy like that I can cure. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, can you just give me like wise advice? Like, you know, just about like consequences of my actions and stuff like that I really just feel like I need this kind of talk to just bring me in the right direction oh. yeah, so I just like fraternize the dragon and I kind of feel like that's one step that I'm not supposed to take I mean we can choose to interact with whatever we want whoever we want to that's the freedom of like you know of this world is that we are just only constrained by what the capitalists have determined uh, within the spaces of these four corners but otherwise, um, you know. That's not what we believe over at St. James. <laughs> <laughs> but within yourself, you may choose to do whatever you wish within these four corners. So if you want to befriend dragons, befriend dragons. If you want to befriend barons, befriend barons. Is that good enough for uh, 50 gold pieces? He holds out his hand. <laughs> I mean, you did leave me to die. I'll give them to you. Well, at least he's got your candles covered. Because I'm choosing to make better decisions. Yeah, but I wasn't asking, and so you, you have to pay him. You pay him 50 gold <laughs> pieces. I'm giving, I'm giving them money. <laughs> you give him 50 gold pieces uh, for landing on St. Charles. Um, however, he does point out that he can cure curses. And uh, one of the curses, he actually points to your uh, the skull-shaped tattoo on your hand. Ooh, oh, huge. I forgot about that. Yeah, take another 50. No, yeah. not the money <laughs> tentacles. No. Keep them in. Keep them in. Okay. You no longer have the uh, the skull shaped uh, tattoo on your person and whatever uh, whatever penalties. So you will be able to use your abilities without me rolling to find out if a portal opens up or not. Nice. Uh, Skyler, where am I? You're a bandit captain of B and O Highway. Hey, chaplain. <laughs> You're a chaplain of B and O Highway. What do you do? I'm gonna roll dice. Eight. You go to the treasure space, and as you land on the treasure space, you find you find a scroll. It is a scroll of polymorph. We could turn the dragon into a tentacle monster. I could turn myself into a tentacle monster. One of the Jerry's. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's turn. Ooh, we rolled doubles. Ooh. Go ahead and roll doubles two more times for me, please. Oh, yeah. So uh, he lands on Connecticut, which is, uh, however, he's going to uh, be a dick and use legendary resistance. Fine. Hey, you used legendary resistance <laughs> on the first half of the board. <laughs> That's fine by me. Another double. Two doubles. Uh, one more. Eight. In the dungeon, you must wait until you roll a five or eight. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the treasure spot. Ah, he finds what looks like to be a potion of healing, but yuck, this wasn't a potion of healing. It was poison, and he loses 100 gold pieces, Good. and he rolls a third time. If he gets doubles, he goes to jail. Wow. He does not. <laughs> he gets all the benefits of being a capitalist dragon. Eight, nine, Atlantic Village. All right, that ends his turn. It is now top of the round. Taren, the dragon stands uh, right on your cross as neighbors you. What do you do? Where's my husband? I'm getting upset. If I don't see him soon, I'm going to scream. Dash. <laughs> <laughs> and we rolled a dash. 10, yes. 15. Yes. Where would you like to go among the 15? Let me see here. One, two, three. If my plan works out. 
I'm going to go through the portal again. <gasps> yeah, let's stop at the dragon. Okay, <laughs> so you dash to the portal, and then you land uh, back on, uh, you go through the portal, and you choose to stay on Bupasco and gain 200 gold pieces and all your abilities back, and you uh, l- choose to land on the uh, dragon space. You must hide, hide. backstab everything. Oil, yes, we're, we're so going. So you hide. Ignore the results of Atlantic Village, and then can choose to interact with the dragon hiding. Oh, uh, he's about to interact with this fucking knife, is what he's about to interact bear with. Bear wife, bear, bear wife. Yes, bear, bear wife. wife. <laughs> Other sword doesn't have a name yet. We got, we got dragon uh, wife. It's about to be dragon, yeah, it's about to be dragon wife. Um, um, backstabbing out of hide automatically hits, so you only have to roll for it, um, and you would deal three hearts of damage or three hits of damage. Therefore, the dragon. Anything from the sharpness oil? I would be totally okay with you using the oil. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I would say it doubles your damage. So therefore, it does six hearts of damage. You switch the dragon for six hundred gold pieces. That pretty much ends your turn. So unless there's anything you want to do on this space, because you've chose to ignore. Did he use hide before he went through the portal? Technically, and that's before he passed go. Yes. So hide is back, right? Correct. Dash again. Do it again. <laughs> do it all again. Well done. That's a gold dragon. Dragons. Dragons almost there. Yeah. Dragons almost. Line with Val right now. Hell yeah, Baron. Let's roll him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go the normal route. I'm not gonna go through the portals. I'm gonna wake up and and take an Advil and get rid of this uh, hangover I have from carousing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you land on Redding Road, and uh, the bandits, the blue bandits over there, all look up at you and says, "Hey, it's that red fighter! It's the red fighter from uh, Short Line Passage!" And they all start beating you up and take your lunch money. You might not have got bad directions, but you went the wrong way, pal. <laughs> <laughs> this one's only got two kneecaps. I got him. I got him. I understand. He's got him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Baron, you have to pay 25 gold pieces to Val. That's fine. The, the guess that ends your turn, right? Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, no, you know what? I've got action surge again. Let's do it again. All righty. I figured you would. One, two, three. Vermont Village. Hey, you're paying the Dragon Slayer tax is what you're paying, all right? That's fine. What do you do, Miss Val? Uh, I'm going to roll. Six, seven, eight, nine. You hit short rest. You can choose to refresh your magic. Well, I guess you don't have to really choose, but you get to refresh your magic missile. Yeah, I'll refresh it. Then it's her turn. It is now Skylar's turn. I'm going to roll. Portal or not. So that's bad directions or an 11. So it'd be Marvin Gardens. I'm going to Marvin Gardens. You see sitting, uh, lying down here, blocking off the pathway to Marvin Gardens proper is a massive giant. He seems to be asleep and is sleeping pretty soundly. You know giants are pretty mean when they wake up, but uh, you seem like as of right now, you can either interact with this giant or you could simply pass on by and not incur whatever wrath this giant might have if he wakes up. I'm going to wake up the giant. <laughs> okay. Hey. You all wake up the giant. And what this giant pupil opens up and looks at you. What do you do? Hey, man. Uh, my name is Yellow Cleric. I'm actually here today. To talk about you, you know, you really seem to like resting out in the open. I think that shows a lot of bravery. And you know who else was really brave? My friend and yours, Saint James. <laughs> a slow fist raises up above you and you see the shadow blocks out the sun. Divine intervention, twenty. And I'm telling the giant, I pull out, I pull out six balloons, <laughs> like six balloons, and I say, these balloons, you see them? These are your sins. <laughs> I have a little, I have like a little toothpick, and I'm like this is the grace of St. James. I pop one of the balloons. I'm like, that's the time. That's the time you didn't let your brother play with the good rock. <laughs> okay. Even though your mom told you to. This one right here, boom. Those are all those villagers you smashed. You see what I'm saying? You smell what I'm stepping in? He rises up high, his shadow completely eclipsing the sun, and then he comes to it down to his knees, and he bends down to you, and he says, Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Go and sin no more. <laughs> and he leaves. He leaves Marvin Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> and the villagers all come out and they go, thank you so much. Praise be to he, St. James. So true. Oh my God, so true. 280 gold pieces. 280 gold pieces and you're now the proud owner of uh, St. James or uh, Marvin Gardens. Gosh. What I call St. James 3. St. <laughs> James th- 3, the sequel, the prequel. <laughs> Dragon's turn. Dragon will uh, 
Bring it. Mm. Bring it. Yeah, Dragon will roll the move. Aw. He arrives at uh, North Carolina. He's already used legendary resistance. He's kicking himself for not just, like, pulling off the side of the road and staying at Pacific. It's like, I'll find somewhere cheap. <laughs> <laughs> that ends his turn. Quick time check. How are we all looking? It's Baron's anniversary, Dragon. We got to put this thing to bed. Yeah, I, I could go one more round, uh, one more lap around the board, and then I probably got to move. Top of the round is Terran. Dash. All right, you dash. Bloodlusted, frothing at the mouth. Yes, we like big numbers. It was at 14. Where do you do? Uh, uh, high back stab. <laughs> We're gonna, you know where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> all right. You blow all of your abilities to uh, land on the dragon space. You avoid the, you avoid North Carolina's uh, effects and you uh, come out of hide and automatically backstab the dragon for another 600 gold pieces of uh, damage. Yes. And the dragon's like it was. Okay, man, he's already like down to 600 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I just run past Skyler like, dude, get, get this thing. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just like, yeah, you're kiting this thing. You smack it again for 600 gold pieces. Well That's done. impressive. Baron. All right, let's roll them. Let's do it. Three. You uh, you arrive at St. Charles. Would you like to invest in St. Charles? Actually, you know what? I would like to invest in St. Charles just because St. James is just gaining his own monopoly. I want to make sure that we have, you know, a democratized and, and various... Uh, capitalism only works when there are options, and that's even true with religion. So, yes, I would like to uh, invest in St. Charles. All right. That ends your turn. Excellent. It is now uh, Val's turn. What do you like to do, uh, Miss Val? I shall roll. A 10 with doubles. Ooh, nice. 8, 9, 10. You go to dungeon. If only you had a skeleton key. Yeah, I know. That's so sad. And you are now in the dungeon. I believe that ends your turn, even if you though you roll doubles. The consequences. I am learning my lesson the <laughs> Ah, the consequences of her actions. I was so ready to punch that dragon. Then in that case, Skylar. Well, I am going to roll 2d6. And if I get two, it's a destiny. 2.4%. Oh, no. A nine. More like the middle of the bell curve. One, two, three, eight, nine. You get to go carouse again. Isn't that great? Yay! Go party! Well, it's like I look at the tab at the end of the night and I'm like, I didn't even want to carouse. I didn't even want to go to any of these places. I just tagged along with these people. And they, they split the bill evenly? Are you kidding me? I didn't. I, I drank water. <laughs> <laughs> Charging a holy man for carousing. That must be a clerical error, surely. Uh -huh. and pay the banker a hundred gold pieces. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Dragon. Dragon is very, very, very angry at you, Terran. I now see the perfect opportunity for a cliffhanger is he's going to use his ability, fly, to fly to Pacific Village. And then he's going to use, uh, he's going to then, he's only got 600 bucks. <laughs> um... It's $200. Nah, he's not going to invest. He's going to land on your space, and then he's going to use a breath attack, which he rolls a D6 and hits that many spaces away, which one, two, three, four, five, which no one even hit Skylar. It would automatically hit you, but let's just roll to see what he would get. Oh, no, he got exactly what he needed to hit you, Terran. Oh, man. Darn. And so... He charges his breath attack. You must beat a 12 to uh, save for half damage. Does the Banshee also save? Ooh. The Banshee will also save, yes. I will, I'll roll separately for her. Uh, you do not beat a 12. Banshee rolls. Uh, can I push that? No, you cannot push a reaction. You can push like on your turn. The Banshee also fails, so she will take uh, so many hearts of damage, which I will roll next time on D&D But Actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you're okay with being a part of this game for the rest of your life. Sorry, folks, it's Mono uh, Capitalism and Crusades. But if you want your own physical version to play at home, join the email list in the description below so we can make this a real thing. If this is the future, here's part three. Otherwise, here's another but actually game to watch in the meantime. Thanks again to Modifius' Discworld RPG Kickstarter for sponsoring this video. Check them out if you're a Pratchett fan.